and good good morning, everyone. And thanks for having uh, thanks for having me. It's an honor to be here uh, to share some of our work with you uh, on behalf of the BCDS group. Um, and now let's talk about this community-based uh, collaborative approach for diabetes management in Beijing. We all know the prevalence of diabetes uh, is increasing rapidly in China. Uh, here we can find the estimates in five national surveys over the past 30 years. In 1980, uh, you can see the prevalence of diabetes was less than 1%. Uh, while in 2008, uh, the prevalence of diabetes is 9 to 7%, and the um, prevalence of prediabetes is 15.5%. Uh, 15 and uh, uh, it's, uh, it's happened to be the same year, to be uh, in the same year uh, with the, the very interesting picture, uh, the doctor, uh, Dr. Ladinos uh, showed us in his in his lecture this morning, mm. and as the most recently reported, the prevalence of diabetes is 11.6 uh, percent uh, now in China. So, uh, uh, and in updated IDF. Uh, diabetes atlas, China has become the top one country for the number of people with diabetes, uh, accounting for more than 100 million of adults with diabetes. So China has become the global epicenter of the diabetes epidemic, um, but the quality of control for diabetes is poor. Uh, as reported in 2006, only 2.7% of patients who reached the combined target control, including blood glucose, blood pressure, and blood lipids. Um, uh, in, uh, this, this is a number reported in downtown Shanghai, so it's uh, very terrible. Uh, and uh, now we have more and more knowledge about diabetes control, and we have uh, exciting and useful results from the basic and clinical research. Um, and uh, we all know the importance of good control of risk factors. But the big problem is now we still have the poor control uh, uh, status in the real life. Uh, and uh, for, the, uh, uh, for the large number of patients with, di with diabetes in China, um, the community should be focused as a main battlefield for fighting diabetes. Um, but uh, now there is an urgent problem is uh, uh, for the general pra practitioners from the local community, and they, remain, they still remain uh, untapped pool of resources for diabetes management. And so we proposed such approach to establish a bridge from the specialists in the hospitals, uh, from the general practitioners in the communities, and to, uh, uh, to, trans uh, to translate our knowledge from the real, uh, real life settings and to deliver more better care for the diabetes patients uh, by a well-organized platform. Uh, that's, that's our purpose. And this approach was named as Beijing Community Diabetes uh, Study, uh, abbreviated as BCDS. And this approach was launched from 2008, and 4,800 patients with type 2 diabetes from 25 communities uh, was, in, uh, was included, the patients. And it covered most of the urban districts in Beijing area. And the work team consists of uh, the, uh, the experts committee, uh, 15 specialists in, uh, in the hospitals, uh, from the hospitals in the different uh, fields of uh, endocrinology, cardiology, uh, ophthalmology, uh, general practice, nutrition, and uh, uh, epidemiology. And another 15 diabetologists uh, from hospitals, and each specialist uh, will take responsibility for the certain communities. 
and uh, uh, 150 general practitioners from 25 community centers, uh, and another, and uh, there is a supervision team. Uh, they will supervise the study progress and the data quality. And the detailed, uh, detailed intervention program for the patients include uh, personal lifestyle education by group classes and, and uh, inter, uh, individual interviews. And the patients will accept personal education um, by, by the uh, 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 focused on uh, the dietary modification and uh, exercise plan. And uh, the patients also, uh, uh, they were placed into different peer support groups and each group will contain six to 10 people. Uh, and uh, uh, a volunteer will be selected as the peer uh, group leader and the, uh, and the leader will be, uh, will be uh, interviewed and recruited for training. And the treatment, uh, and the, uh, treatment strategies will be adjusted uh, based on guidelines. And the uh, scheduled follow-up uh, mainly could include the monthly interview, and the study testing will be uh, conducted on scheduled testing appointment, uh, including the physical examination and the lab test and the uh, uh, electrocardiogram and fundus examination. And the detailed case report form will, will be recorded and uploaded. And for the general practitioners, the main training programs, uh, including the group training class, and mainly focused on the application of guidelines uh, with a detailed curriculum. And the interactive workshops will, will be organized, uh, including the, uh, for the case discussion. And the specialist will assist uh, the general pra practitioners in their, uh, in their clinical work uh, in the community uh, once a week in a fixed time uh, during the whole period. And uh, each specialist will assist a fixed number of general pr practitioners and the practitioners will be responsible for a fixed number of patients. And the treatment strategies will be given to the general pr um, practitioners uh, by, uh, with a, a roadmap uh, based on guidelines, mainly focused on the, uh, uh, on the treatment strategy, on the blood glucose control, blood pressure control, the lipid modifying therapy, and the treatment with aspirin. And this is a, a supervision team, consists of four experts who are uh, highly trained, especially for this study. And they will check the study progress and data quality twice a year in each community. And the reports of the supervision will be issued at each researcher's meeting. And the online platform was established for data uh, record and uh, uploading. And we have the website for information uh, issued and uh, exchange. And this, uh, these pictures show the, uh, showed the specialist assist uh, the uh, general pr 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 practitioners uh, work in their outpatient services. And the patient will accept the founder's examination every year, uh, once a year. And these are different training programs for general practitioners, including the interactive workshop. And this uh, personal educational program for patients, including the peer support group. And we have uh, a lot of different activities. Uh, and uh, uh, for, example, uh, for example, for the game, in the game, uh, that game was titled as, uh, look uh, what in my dishes, mm, that is, as such uh, uh, activities. And the researchers meeting uh, was well scheduled twice a year for study process report and uh, uh, exchange the experience between different centers. And this is a certificate uh, to be a study member and the award will be presented to the community who have high score and ranking uh, due to the uh, supervision team. And uh, to evaluate uh, the effectiveness of this approach, uh, the following outcomes will be discussed. 
And the primary outcome was defined as the percentage of patients who uh, achieved the combined target control, including uh, hemoglobin A1C, blood pressure, and uh, low density uh, lipoprotein cholesterol uh, target value. Mm, um, this and and this uh, this uh, was commonly used as a as a in uh, as an intermediate uh, indicator for diabetes care. And these target goals are consistent with the Chinese guidelines for diabetes prevention and treatment. And the incidence and progress of diabetes complications, including microvascular com complications and major vascular events and all cause mortality will be uh, recorded as the secondary outcomes. And uh, over, uh, overall, uh, we can see the mean hemoglobin A1C level uh, is seven, uh, was 7.2% in 2008. And uh, in 2013, it decreased to 6.9%. And it uh, remains at, st uh, at this stable level in these recent three years. And, and uh, consistently, the percentage of patients who met uh, hemoglobin A1C less than 7%, uh, 50, uh, the percentage is 50, uh, 54% in 2008, and uh, in 2013, it reached to 70%, and uh, almost remained the same level in recent years. And for the most important uh, primary outcome, the combined target control, uh, uh, which means the patients who met all the uh, three risk factors target values, we can see uh, in the we can see in the uh, as a baseline only 5.5 percent of patients uh, who can who achieve the combined target goal. But in 2015, the percentage uh, has been reached uh, to 21 percent, and it, it uh, has a significant improving. And here, uh, I, I'd like to show you another study in China. Uh, called 3B study, and this study is leading by Dr. G. Um, it's a, a multi-center observational study, um, but uh, with a, with a nationally representative sample with diabetes uh, with type 2 diabetes. And in this study, we can see as a baseline. Oh, I'm sorry. The baseline is uh, is in in the year of 2010. And the percentage is 5.3 percent, and this number is uh, almost the same with our uh, with the number in our study at the baseline. And in uh, after three years, in 2013, and uh, the percentage is uh, is 11.8. Uh, this is the number in the 3B study. And uh, in our study, for the educational attainment, uh, uh, as we all know, this is uh, commonly used as a social economic indicator. Uh, in this subgroup analysis, we examined the influence of educational level on long-term glucose control and uh, outcome events. And the educational attainment was characterized into three levels. Uh, uh, elementary school or less, uh, middle school or and uh, high school. And we can see in this figure, um, both fasting plasma glucose and hemoglobin A1C level remain the highest in the low educational attainment group. Uh, and for the fasting plasma glucose, uh, the level uh, keep, uh, uh, keep decreasing uh, continuously in the high education uh, in the high educational uh, attainment, and for the hemoglobin A1C is keep continuously decreasing in uh, in the group with medium and high educational level. And for the outcome events analysis, we can see the difference between the these uh, three groups. And uh, the higher of the uh, the higher of the cum hazard of uh, all morbid events incidents uh, in the low edu uh, in the group with low educational attainment, uh, which indicate uh, us 
um, maybe extra care should be uh, uh, should be given to the when 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 we treating the patients with uh, low uh, educational uh, entertainment. And for the O and events analysis, the cardiovascular disease, including the coronary heart disease and uh, cerebrovascular disease, uh, which took up to nearly half of all morbid events. And for the hazard, uh, uh, for the risk of the incidence analysis, uh, we can see in this figure, uh, the green one, the green one indicates the group uh, who, with the patients who achieved all three risk, uh, all three risk target values. And the blue one uh, indicates the group, the patients who didn't. And we can see the difference and the uh, cum hazard of cardiovascular disease uh, is, uh, is uh, marked uh, higher in the patients, in the group of patients who did not reach the target control. And uh, uh, as I reported above, it's part of our main results, and we have uh, more than 20 papers published uh, in different journals. And the related work has been presented in the international conference, and the, especially the general practitioners uh, who were encouraged and organized to attend the international conference, and uh, including the World Conference for Family Doctors, and to communicate and to exchange their exper uh, experience uh, with the doctors from other countries. And in summary, this approach uh, should be characterized uh, as a, a collaborative team. Uh, it contains specialists in different fields and uh, general practitioners. And it contains multiple centers, more than 4,000 patients with type 2 diabetes. And uh, this longitudinal follow-up study has been lasting for seven years and with low, with low cost and a strict civilian team. And we are glad to see the good results. And more and more people uh, uh, have, uh, have been improving their knowledge for diabetes, and more and more people achieved optimal target control. And the general practitioners have obviously improved their knowledge and skills during the training programs and the guidelines were well implemented during their uh, clinic, uh, clinical work uh, for the general practitioners, and they, the, their outpatient service has been increasing. And this ongoing product will keep, um, keep for the next three years follow-up study, uh, and during the next stage, uh, we will focus on the optimal target control uh, for the reduction of the complica uh, complications, especially for the cardiovascular disease risk analysis fitting for the Chinese population. And we will, and the cost effectiveness evaluation will be performed. And this product was supported by several fundings uh, from China and the IDF. And, and uh, uh, thanks to my colleagues, uh, especially the uh, experts panel, and uh, you can see Dr. Uh, Yuan Shenyuan, and she is also my teacher. She is now 84 years old, but she is still working on the uh, community with the general practitioners, um, <clears throat> even every day. So we pay uh, high respect to her, yeah. And uh, at last, uh, I want to thank all my uh, team members, especially the general practitioners. Um, I think uh, you, can, you can understand, you can know, this is a very hard work for them uh, to persist in this long-term study and uh, keep, uh, keep achieving the target goal. It's a very difficult work. So thanks to the general practitioners. And so that's, uh, that's all. Thanks for your attention. Thank you.